quick beginner's guide vocation pretty much like any class or job system early on you can only choose the classic trinity classes you can learn new abilities once you reach encampment which is the first place you visit after exiting uh, the starting village and later you can change your vocation in grand soren which is the main city in this game vocations available will also be expanded here uh, you can also change to advanced and hybrid vocations each weapon have different skill that you can learn but you can only equip three of them uh, core skill is kind of like your passive skill for your vocation uh, augments are skill that will enhance your character performance overall and you can learn and equip them on any vocation so yes you can have fighter augments while using mesh every time you level up your stat growth will be depending on your current vocation as you can see here so if you are planning on min maxing your build be sure to look this up but here's the thing by the end game you'll be a powerhouse regardless so you can take on any enemy with any stat development so no worries about that and have fun trying out all these vocations if you are struggling it is not your stats fault it's all about tactics and equipment keep experimenting and refine next pawn there's two types of pawn one is your own personal pawn that you can customize and two hired pawns these are pawn that other players create and you can hire them if you are playing offline this will be replaced with generic offline pawn now for your own personal pawn yes you can also change their vocation but only to basic and advanced vocation no hybrid classes so yeah a uh, pawn that you're hired from other players uh, doesn't level up with you like your main pawn do so change them around whenever you feel like the battle is getting a little bit too hard romance yes you can romance npc and make them your beloved you can give them present or if they are part of a quest line you can complete that to increase their affinity this pink glow here will indicate your progress other things that should also be mentioned this game is very dark yep i had to increase the brightness to record this gameplay seriously bring lantern and spare oil character wake affect your base stamina and regeneration uh, certain places have different monsters depending on day uh, slash night cycle for example leash some quests are missable and some are part of a chain of quest line like saving Reinhardt here if you are a completionist make sure to look up a uh, missable quest and yes some quests can expire as you progress the main story personally i recommend going for blind playthrough for your first time and pick up any missable on new game plus uh, manual save often the game auto save but only under certain condition like resting and changing location uh, you can kick this ox to make it run faster you can also heal it by asking rook to heal you yes you can fast travel or teleport using this fairy stone right here there's also pot crystal that you can use to make your own custom teleport point you can find five of these per playthrough and that's pretty much all you need to know is the beginning of this great game i've made another video on bitter black isle or bbi which is this extra dungeon that comes with dark horizon uh, expansion you guys can check that one out if you want and yeah thank you for watching and have a lovely day